In this episode of Eat Up Silicon Valley, we're going to switch it up and do a drink up Silicon Valley. We visit one of my favorite nearby staycation destinations, Santa Cruz. Mellow Mellow is a brand new kava and kombucha bar in downtown Santa Cruz. We're going to learn all about what kava is and where it comes from. This is it. This is kava in and of itself. This is from the South Pacific. It's a root of a plant. Uh, but Mellow Mellow stands for a type of kava that's found in Vanuatu. In Vanuatu, they speak a certain kind of language, and it's basically an amalgamation of all these different influences. And Mellow Mellow is a varietal, and it literally means it mellows you out. It's not too strong, it's not too, it's not too weak, it's that perfect mellow sensation. And so that's why we decided to call the place after the strain of kava uh, called Mellow Mellow. So, and that's the feeling that we want you to get when you come. You guys are open late? Like We're open noon to midnight every day. Noon to midnight. Yep. So during the day, it's a great space to do some work, but at night, definitely kind of turns into a more loungy bar. Kava Kava is it's very unique and it's very much like tea. It's both the name of the plant, the leaves, and the drink itself. So they call it Kava for the plant or the name of that. In Hawaii, they call it Awa, A-W-A. It's a little different. Kava Kava, it is, yes. So it's only the roots. The plant itself is called Piper Mephistic which is intoxicating pepper. These are two different parts. These are the lateral parts, and then you have the rhizome, or the stump. Um, in Fijian, this is called waka, and then this is called loena. And they have slightly different effects, slightly different tastes, and certain drinkers will tend to gravitate more towards one than the other. Um, and it is very much like wine, or, or cannabis, or, or any of the others. This is their cultural drink. They've been doing it for 3,000 years. You guys gotta come out here, downtown Santa. so cool. So traditionally when we serve kava, you always want to be sure that you stir. And the idea being is the active ingredients, those particulates that made it through the bag, will tend to be at the very bottom. And uh, again, there's a bit of a ritual to how you serve it. It's always the first shell goes to the honored guest or the tribal chief. Um, the tribal chief. Case, there we go. There we go. Um, and then you kind of go around. And now, before we drink it, in Fiji in particular, there is a very honored thing you do called the Sebu Sebu. Sebu Sebu uh, is the offering. In this case, if you don't have a material offering, if you're not providing a gift, food or whatever, it's usually an oral tradition of you give thanks. So you compliment the host, you compliment you know, the guest. Next, instead of clinking your coconuts or cheersing, you would say Bula, B-U-L-A. And Bula means life or health in Fiji. This is a very Fijian style. There's also the clap. So the clapping, it's not really a clap for so And the cup signifies, hey, it's time to drink kava. It also works as they're kind of clinking the coconut shell. So they'll cup, cup or uh, clap once, and that opens the ceremony, if you will. Now, if one person cups or claps, in some circles, everybody has to finish their shell, and everybody has to get a new one. We have some kombucha and some CBD on top. Kaba is great, but for me, I like, if you want that rich, sweet flavor, I love kombucha. And they have a lot of different flavors here. So, ginger lemongrass. It's delicious. I love that because it's, it's not so sweet. It's kind of that crisp, peppery flavor. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Eat Up Silicon Valley. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And check out Mellow Mellow next time you're in Santa Cruz. Bula!